Hello everyone. I welcome you all to yet another educational experience at Edge Dental PG. Considered to be one of the most boring topics, classification of epidemiological methods. This particular video is useful for a quick revision for all the undergraduate students, MDS aspirants and postgraduate students of various faculties. Starting with the definition, epidemiology is the study of distribution and determinants of health related states or events and the application of the study to the control of diseases and other health problems. This definition is given by John M. Last in 1988. From understanding point of view and MCQ point of view, you need to remember that epidemiology is nothing but the study of distribution, determinants and control of disease. Moving on to the classification of epidemiology. Epidemiology is broadly classified as observational and experimental. Under observational studies, we have descriptive and analytical studies. Analytical studies are further classified as analytical cross-sectional study, cro case control study and cohort study. Experimental studies are further classified as randomized control studies and non-randomized control studies. Non-randomized control studies are studies which include field trials, community trials and natural experiments like the atomic bomb explosion at Hiroshima, Nagasaki. We'll just cover the important study designs, the descriptive study. It basically is the first step in epidemiological analysis of any particular disease. It helps describe the disease in the perspective of time, place and person. Most importantly, it helps us formulate the hypothesis. Hypothesis is a tentative statement about the relationship between two or more variables. It is a specific testable prediction about what you expect to happen in a study. Then we move on to the case control study. This is a retrospective study. That is, it travels back in time. It moves from effect to cause. Here, the population is divided as cases and controls and then the study progresses to find the exposed and unexposed. This study design encounters the maximum amount of bias. The important terminologies that we come across under the case control study are matching. It is a technique used to minimize the bias, especially in observational studies and the odds ratio. Odds ratio is a cross product ratio. It is a measure of association between exposure and outcome. What we need to remember is that case control study can be used only to assess the prevalence of the disease and hence we can only calculate odd ratio in this particular study design. Then moving on to the cohort study, it is referred to as the prospective study or the forward looking study. Here study starts with healthy population population and then the population gets divided based on the exposure and progresses to people with disease and people without disease. Only cohort study can be used to find the incidence of the disease. The two main calculations that can be done with the help of cohort study are relative risk and attributable risk. Please remember, do not get confused between the terminologies like longitudinal study and prospective study which are normally used in most of the MCQs. Longitudinal study is basically the study design which can be done in descriptive epidemiology as well as analytical epidemiology whereas pros prospective study uh, is only cohort study. Then we move on to the last study design, the randomized control trial. Here the study variables are manipulated by the investigator and hence it holds a higher level of evidence compared to the other study designs. The two main terminologies that we come across in the RCTs are randomization. It is considered to be the heart of an RCT, a method based on chance alone by which the study participants are assigned to groups and blinding. Concealment of group allocation from one or more individuals involved in the clinical research study. More videos coming up at Edge Dental PG. Please do keep watching. Goodbye till then.